Hi, this is Jonathan Rotz with Pioneer. And although you're used to seeing me in cornfields, this morning we're gonna do something different and truly get in the cornfield. It's a beautiful morning here in Lancaster County and we've opened up a soil trench for a field day. And I just wanted to take a few moments to talk with you a little bit about what we can see when we look under the ground at where our corn is growing. So we're standing in a field planted the 16th of May, good foliar health yet. We're just approaching black layer in this specific hybrid, a little later planting date, but uh, again, it's a great opportunity for us to take a look at, you know, plants that still have good late season health and see what's going on underground. As we come down and we look, we've dug this trench and we're, we're down just a little bit past two feet. But one of the biggest things to, to recognize is the depth of roots that we have here. And if we kept on going, we'd still find, you know, some decent feeders down there uh, as we continue to go. But again, you know, great rooting depth. Um, as we look at the overall rooting, uh, just a very positive thing going on here in this field. Another thing to take notice to is, as we look, as we've dug along the row here, is the overall feeder roots and the fact that we're able to get outside of that planter furrow. Uh, good planting conditions for, for this guy this spring. And you can see the amount of roots that we're going out. Now, again, this is one of the things that we talk a lot about is, you know, all the roots up, up top feeding. This is a no-till environment, so we've got a lot of nutrition up here, uh, but also that plant's ability to go down deep. Um, some of these that didn't get cut off, you know, you can start, start to see the, the good depth. The ends of these would have been taken off. But again, overall, you can see, I even have a flag down here at the bottom where there's a nice feeder sticking out. Um, and again, a lot of these on the sidewall have been cut off as we dug, but you can really start to see the ability for that corn to go deep and look for lots of nutrition throughout the entire soil profile. As I uh, played with a penetrometer around here this morning, I was finding some dense soils, but really no extreme changes in density. And if, if we remember back to some of the videos that I've had in the past, you know, that change in density is really what makes those roots move to the side. So again, you know, uh, here we're not seeing a lot of horizontal motion that we would anticipate if we had a, a zone like that, but more that vertical, which is what we want to get those roots nice and deep. One thing that can be a little difficult to see here uh, with some of the sun on the, the trench right now, but tried to uh, point out here with some of these flag staffs is where the majority of that root growth is. You can see some, some roots in those top eight to 10 inches that are going across in the middle of the row, but some of those big feeders uh, kind of, you know, in that outside of that V shape in the middle of our, our 30 inch. And again, this is some of what we talk about with row spacing and, and nutrient availability, especially thinking about some of our, you know, side dressing or other things that we're trying to put close to that row. Again, in the uh, absence of any stressors, these crops are pretty good about getting out and getting roots in, uh, especially this, this year for a lot of our guys, we had a lot of dry early and those roots were going deep. Um, and again, tend to, tend to spread down. Not saying that we can't harvest any nutrition out of that middle V, but uh, you know, seeing that we've got lots of different abilities to get those plants roots deep, but again, more uh, below that row than necessarily in the middle. So if we think about all this on a practical standpoint, you know, thinking about there are some field operations we're going to have that we'll just have to go across every square inch of the field. But when we have the opportunity of putting something near that row, uh, whether that be, you know, through a planter, through a uh, side dress, through, you know, uh, precise placement of fertility, uh, just the efficiency that we can gain because the overall rooting mass of that crop within that row, again, Crops can reach out to the middle uh, later season and be able to harvest some of that nutrition. But again, just on an efficiency side and having it available, really important to keep a consideration. Another thing just to take a look at here is overall plant health, especially on that crown and root. And you see here, you know, very healthy crown, nice and white, no discoloration, no um, cannibalization there. So these roots were feeding that plant still even at this uh, late phase, which is obviously what we wanna do. We wanna get that super late into it. It's another great thing to think about doing as you uh, scout your fields is just look at over all that stalk and crown health and integrity. And that's going to tell you a lot about your late season intactness as well as just standability. I hope you found this video helpful and informative for any questions you might have on you know, our products or even just soil health, other things, feel free to reach out to your Pioneer sales representative or Pioneer employee. Hopefully you have a safe and successful harvest this fall and continue to plant Pioneer. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. 
Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.